Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to customize a silhouette image. Let's say for example you have an image like this and you want to make it into a silhouette. Make the image of this man all dark like this. But what if you want to customize it a little bit and instead of having it just all dark maybe a different color and also include the tie and the suspenders. We're, here we see the tie and suspenders. Here it's just all black what if we did a different color and customized it a little bit and we had something like this? Then maybe you can go ahead and add some color to some other text box objects like the customer success object here and make some contrast. So let me go ahead and show you how. Let's go ahead and take a copy of this image. Let me go ahead and take a copy of this image. Or actually, I'll just copy this whole slide. I'll type, I press the keyboard shortcut Control D to duplicate and then let me just bring it down here and I'm going to go ahead and just not, not play with this box. I'm just going to delete it right now. So now I have this image and what I want to do is if I right click and go on format picture and under the picture corrections and in brightness changes to 100% this would be the, usually the way to do it and you would have this particular image in slide 3 but unfortunately since the whole image is a object in a way you can't really do that. So what you need to do is kind of make it transparent the white background in here is part of the image so you want to make you kind of want to remove that and what we can do is we can go under format and remove background and we'll have these handles here where we can move it and the lavender kind of purplish areas are the areas where it's going to remove the color basically it's going to be transparent so anything around the outline of this man is going to be removed that white color is going to be removed so once I selected that area, make sure everything else is in there, I'm going to go ahead and click Keep Changes. And what happened now, if I moved him out there, you, you can see that there is no more image here. The, the gray color bleeds into this image if I move around. Now, in, in this example, if I move him around, you can see that the white goes with it. Let me go Control z to undo that. So that's what you're doing, basically. So let me go ahead and move him back here. And now if we wanted to add some color, or well, if we wanted to make a silhouette, we can just right click it and go under Format Picture and we can change his brightness and then now that's taken care of. So let's say that now we want the tie, I'm just going to put the tie in now, I'm just going to put the tie in and not worry about the suspenders, but we just want the tie right here in this kind of white color. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can be able to trace it out a little bit better. And what I want to do is I want to use this freeform tool in the drawing group. You can also go to insert shapes and it's this freeform tool. And I want to go ahead and click on that and start to draw a shape outline of the tie. So I'm going to start up here and I'm going to click it once and click it once and click it once. And what you want to do is keep kind of clicking whenever you see kind of the movement change a little bit. A straight line is okay. So I'm going to click it a little, a couple more times, click it here, click it here, and I'm going to bend it down here, maybe, and click it here, and then go back up here, and click it there, and then come back up here, click it there, uh, click it there, another click, 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 and then you got to kind of find your way to where you started that line first. I think it was right here. Double click that. And once you double click it, once you kind of complete uh, this line, this circuit in a way, you double click it to finish it and what happens is now you have an outline of that image. So what I want to do is I want to right click this and I want to make the fill color, shape fill, I want to make that white. And I do not I do not want a shape outline so I'm going to go ahead, oh I already had to select it white but if you click on this drop down you'll see that there's a white color here. And also I want to click on here and make sure, right click, when I right click and bring up this menu this mini menu, I'm going to click on this drop down and I do not want an outline. So I'm going to take this now, I'm going to do a control X to cut it and then I'm going to do a control V to paste. Now you see I, I moved the image around a little bit so now it's not perfectly right so I got to use the arrow key to kind of kind of put it into place and I think that's about right. Right now if I uh, zoom back out, fit the slide back into the window. You can see now I've got the image. So this works really well if you have an image inside the silhouette. Usually what I found if you have the, if you have an image outside the silhouette where it's not kind of encompassed by all the black color or all the color that you want to give it, then it's really more difficult to make the outlines. 
So you want to have a shape within the silhouette. So I've mentioned before, let's say that we didn't want to have the black color as a silhouette and we wanted to change that to another color. What you can do is you can go under the adjust group here, go click the color command, and you've got a recolor option where you can change the color. Let's say this blue or red or green, maybe this orange, maybe we'll give them an orange color. And there's also other colors that you can choose from. There's other colors that you want to try where we can change the color. Uh, we have some presets here. Oh, that was what about the color tone or the recolor? I think on the recolor you only have a couple options here. If we reset it and we bring it back to into a couple colors, maybe this gray, we can give it a light color. So there's a couple options there. There, there weren't that many, but uh, there's there's a couple options here that where you can set for your uh, the adjustment of the silhouette color, uh, this blue, the red, green, purple, this aqua, and an orange. So there's a couple ways that you can recolor this silhouette instead of the the default black. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.